Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet, but the pom-poms in the way. <laughs> I normally show you uh, the lovely collection back there. Uh, but yeah, Ariana is excited. Today, we are focusing on the topic of marshmallow. Thank you so much uh, to the subscriber who suggested this on a recent question I had. Um, you guys brought up, you wanted to know about my fave marshmallows. Let's go ahead and talk about that. And also, we're going to be bringing up some chocolate soon and just other awesome categories, a few new brands that I'm, I'm going to get a hold of. And um, yeah, we're just keeping it going over here. I did take a little break, you guys, this week. I just could not get a, just could not get a grip with these migraines I've been experiencing um, on and off. Uh, but here we are today. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. If marshmallow is a thing that you would love to learn about, <laughs> then stick around because we're going to break it down. We're going to go through different categories here of marshmallows. I'm going to let you know my experiences, uh, you know, different brands and how they treated me, uh, you know, since owning them. And uh, just compare and contrast. We're going to have a good time. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So thank you once again for suggesting this. Um, I'm going to break these down. I will be letting you guys know um, basically what is my top marshmallow fragrance. Um, and let's go ahead and start out with the purer form of marshmallow. Marshmallow that literally just has vanilla and sugar. Uh, now marshmallow, if you put your nose directly up to a marshmallow, you might get a tiny whiff of uh, kind of sweet, kind of powdery. Um, but not too strong. It's a very soft type of scent. Um, the sugar note is extremely synthetic when it comes to perfumery. It is a synthetic note. It has to be, the accord has to be put together by the perfumer. I find that to be extremely interesting. And in perfumery, they call it ethyl maltol. And to be quite frank, I fell down a rabbit hole. <laughs> I could probably do an entire video on the history of sugar in perfumery. And the fact that the very first gourmand fragrance uh, that came out was actually in the in the 1990s by the house of Mugler and that fragrance was angel uh the perfumer one of the perfumers on the on the fragrance was none other than olivier cresp oh we've been learning we have been bringing up cresp on the channel quite frequently uh because he just does gourmands justice okay some of the fragrances uh, that we've come across recently, go figure, it, it turns out to be Olivier Crest that was behind the creation. So he just can put those uh, marshmallow compounds and sugary, sweet deliciousness together. Um, now, he did not come out with this one, actually. Uh, the first one we're gonna talk about is Delicia de Marshmallow. That's right here. And this is by an indie brand called Kais Perfumes. And I have been loving Kais Perfume since the beginning of this channel. Uh, since very first getting my nose on those samples I very first ordered, I did a first impressions here on the channel. And just about every single video, I bring up body care pretty much with you guys. And I bring up Delicia de Marshmallow because uh, more recently so, I've been discovering that this Delicia de Marshmallow body butter is a chameleon. It goes so well with things you wouldn't even imagine it could go with. Um, you know, even your patchoulis and your sandalwoods, just beautiful, or your florals, your rose, ugh, a rose marshmallow. Delicia de Marshmallow is a beautiful body butter. Now in here we have marshmallow, vanilla, and sugar, and in the fragrance itself as well, Delicia de Marshmallow. So that's all the fragrance has. And on the website for Kais Perfumes, I kind of laugh at this because in the description, it says that, you know, marshmallows are not strong. They're not meant to be smelled across an entire room. However, <laughs> I mean, talk about humble. Kais Delisa de Marshmallow can be smelled at past arm's length and the longevity is outstanding. Um, I do have an older bottle here and a newer bottle here. And look at that color change, you guys. That is a beautiful color change. <laughs> this fragrance was this color when I first received it. Um, so that's just the vanilla, the vanillin that is in here that changes color over time. Um, yeah, really, really strong marshmallow fragrance. Um, so 
that's Delicia de Marshmallow, you guys. Uh, one of the purest marshmallow fragrances you can find out there. So next, uh, on the topic of pure marshmallow smelling, we have by a company called Sugar Milk Company. This is called Marshmallow Fluff. Now, admittedly so, I have done a side-by-side -side wear test comparison review right here between Delisa de Marshmallow and Marshmallow Fluff. I found the Marshmallow Fluff to be, yes, definitely marshmallow and vanilla. Uh, it has some marshmallow, vanilla, sugar cane, and heavy cream. I find Marshmallow Fluff to be more of a candy sweet, a candy marshmallow. Um, you know, versus the vanilla uh, and um, just pure marshmallow strength that we get from the Delicia de Marshmallow. Oh, yeah, it's still a beautiful fragrance, don't get me wrong, but it's more of a candied smell. Um, it does last you throughout the day. It does start to taper off around the seventh, eighth hour, uh, but that is really, really nice for a perfume oil type fragrance. And um, yeah, Sugar Milk Company did a wonderful job with this one. It's just interesting how it can be different even than the Delicia. Yeah, so I would say Delicia de Marshmallow, grown up, I will say, I don't say this, but I will say grown up sexy marshmallow is Delicia. <laughs> and here we have a sweet edible candied marshmallow. Okay, I just had to, <laughs> it's just what it is. Um, so those are pretty much, you know, your pure marshmallows right there. Now, recently we have come across a beautiful marshmallow oil, okay? I mean, just one of the most purest, again, pure and vanilla marshmallows. This is called Marshmallow Creme or marsh yeah, Marshmallow Creme because it has a little asterisk on the E right there. Um, marshmallow Creme has marshmallow cream, brown sugar, and vanilla. And you can find this on Etsy, although it is sold out right now at this moment. Um, but once it's back in stock, you guys, they also have a body butter that I actually gifted to a friend. Um, so marshmallow cream here is a, a beautiful, sugary smelling, uh, you know, uh, body oil. I do love to use this uh, underneath my fragrances. I even use it with the Delisa de Marshmallow body butter, um, but it actually does very well on its own. It is not as strong as the Delicia body butter. The Delicia will last you all day long. This one, maybe six hours tops, you're gonna be smelling the scent. Um, so I would say that this, although it is not as long lasting, it is still extremely enjoyable. I mean, this is marshmallow. Uh, again, with the, with the, you know, adultish vanilla tinge in here. Um, so it's not as candied smelling. Oh, it's so nice though, as the, as the vanilla, uh, marshmallow fluff here, but it is still, uh, you know, really, really nice. I mean, this is so good. <laughs> marshmallow cream oil, you cannot go wrong. Um, I truly enjoyed that. Love to wear that with all of those wonderful gourmand vanillas. Okay, so that's basically your like, pure vanilla, no other notes in there. Um, but let's stick with the foodie gourmand type category in these in these marshmallows and talk about a couple from Coco Pink. Coco Pink is another indie perfume brand that just knocks it out of the park with edible smelling fragrances. Um, here we have a couple here are the other perfumes. We have Marshmallow Cake on Mondays, Noel. And here we have Marshmallow Cake on Mondays. I do have their body butters and their other perfumes and then also their, their body mists. I do love all of that. I do also have some dry oils from the brand. Black Cherry Upside Down Cake is another one that has marshmallow in it. So let's talk about these. Marshmallow Cake on Mondays and the Noel are wonderful. They have sponge cake. They have almond extract, vanilla, uh, cinnamon, cream, cheese, buttercream frosting. And the uh, Marshmallow Cake on Mondays Noel even has an added vanilla bean Noel, uh, you know, tinge to it. So it's even more vanilla. They're both wonderful. The marshmallow cake on Mondays is more pure marshmallow with a bit of that almond extract that, that leans the cherry note. So good. A uh, baker spice type feel. And then the Noel uh, just adds a little more, just a deeper vanilla. 
I actually enjoy the Noel a little more than the than the marshmallow cake on Mondays, the original. So that's why for the Eau de Parfum choice, I went with the marshmallow cake on Mondays, Noel. Um, now, Coco Pink has also um, a marshmallow note, just marshmallow option that says that it is also just marshmallow and vanilla and just fluffy and wonderful. And I haven't tried it. <laughs> I'm actually disappointed in myself. It's been like two years we've been enjoying Coco Pink and I have not tried their single marshmallow, single note marshmallow, uh, you know, option. So we need to do that soon. Now for the black cherry uh, upside down cake, we have a white pound cake, mounds of marshmallow frosting, uh, and some juicy wild black cherries. I'll, I will say that the um, the black cherry upside down cake is very berry esque. I mean, it's got it's got a a, a beautiful cherry vibe. Um, I do I do love I do love that one. Enjoy it. The marshmallow is not as apparent as it is in the other um, you know marshmallow cake on Mondays, and and the Noel. Now we do have Courtney's creation, and I'm not full on. I have it back there. I'm not full on familiar yet. It is one of my newest, uh, you know, additions. It has marshmallow and rainbow colored cotton candy. It is also does give me a berry tone, so it's more berry than it is marshmallow. Um, so that's cocoa pink. Those just wonderful options there when it comes to marshmallow. Um, so those are all your foodie type marshmallow fragrances, I would say. And next, let's talk about fragrances that are uh, gourmand leaning, but they're not foodie. Like I wouldn't eat them. <laughs> um, so let's start off with some Ariana Grande here. We have sweet like candy and it has some marshmallow. And let's be real, Ariana Grande's fragrances all pretty much consist of a note of marshmallow i've noticed uh we have sweet like candy we have the limited edition sweet like candy um Ar ariana grande's adi and then moonlight and thank you next 2.0 they all have a marshmallow note okay uh but i find sweet like candy to be the most detectable when it does come to that marshmallow that they use um but other than that i mean this is floral you know it has it has a couple of, of florals in there so it's a fruity floral marshmallow is is what it boils down to really um just uplifting and just smells fresh and good <laughs> so i do feel like you can detect the marshmallow note in sweet like candy um you know and the moonlight as well you can detect a little bit of tinge of it you cannot detect it as much in the original adi in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's why I have this one here as basically for Ariana's collection for Ariana Grande, <laughs> I can never say it right. Um, I would say that this one right here would would take the cake for, for when it comes to a marshmallow tone. All right, so that's, that's all I have to say about Ariana there. Uh, next, let's go ahead and go through um, another one that's like a marshmallowy musk type fragrance. Um, that would be, I will leave this here. This is the travel. This is Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth. This has a marshmallow note in it. Um, and I would say this is soft, not as floral as your um, Ariana's, uh, but but it is a, a cashmere, you know, fluffy, of uh, just standout celebrity fragrance in my opinion and of course it has that marshmallow note and the and whipped cream i believe oh yes this is one of those fragrances that shocked me it, i was shook it <laughs> at how good this was so um yeah sabrina carpenter sweet tooth definitely lands in this marshmallow video and and it's a good one but it is not full-on edible smelling it is a cozy fluffy um, you know, uplifting fragrance, comforting as well, just really good. And it, all of these, every single one of these fragrances pairs lovely with the Delicia de Marshmallow body butter. <laughs> I mean, it just does. Or the Marshmallow Cream Oil, or both. <laughs> wonderful, just wonderful. Okay, what what else do we have uh, going on here? Um, let's talk about another fragrance that really leans gourmand, especially the campaign. And I'm mostly talking about the dry down. 
I have the travel spray up there, but I'm speaking of Kaoli's Yum Pistachio Gelato. Now this fragrance takes you on a journey. It has all kind of notes. I mean, top, mid, you know, it doesn't really land on those full on marshmallow gourmand notes until the way dry down. And that's exactly how it behaves on your skin. It has some interesting transitions. I think this is just a complex fragrance. And I, I was very, again, just shocked by that. Um, I, th there is one transition that is really sketchy for me. <laughs> and that is the, I'm going from the top, a bright, you know, little barbershop quality opening into this uh, mid of, you know, gas station soap. Thank goodness that switches immediately to the fluffy marshmallow whipped cream, you know, gelato beautifulness that this is. Uh, yes. <laughs> so this is gourmand leaning for certain in that dry down, but it is not 100% full on, uh, you know, gourmand. And it does have the marshmallow tone, the marshmallow note. Uh, so I love this one. I mean, yes, it's one of my favorite uh, scent profiles in the collection. I love to compare it to fragrances that have come out in the same line, kind of um, not from Kaoli, but from other brands um, and review them side by side here on the channel. I'm a collector of Kaoli Yum, you know, uh, fragrances that smell all like that. It's just delicious. Um, there's another fragrance that also has a wonderful marshmallow note in it. Let me get it because I didn't. Right here. Um, this is called Now Rave Now Woman. It is by the Latafa brand. Uh, however, it there the fluffiness of the marshmallow isn't full on apparent. I would say this is less gourmand smelling uh, than your pistachio gelato. Um, you know, as far as gourmand leaning fragrances, but it is just a delicious fragrance. This one reminds this one reminds me so so much of the Burberry Her Elixir. So you're gonna get that strawberry tinge. You're going to get that wonderful musky, you know, skin type scent. Oh, but then you also get um, that that just beautiful, um, you know, gourmand leaning type fragrance in here too. Um, but more, more pink girly frilly is what I would say. Um, so yeah, Burberry Her Elixir type. This, the marshmallow isn't, how in your face but it has a marshmallow note okay so yeah uh we're leaning more uh more towards fragrances now that have the marshmallow in them but they are not to me at least uh you know pure marshmallows there's just not <laughs> okay so there are those uh we're almost done comparing and then i'll let you know what my favorite one is so far um on this awesome journey of ours we have next uh, one of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection. I have said this over and over. I will, you know, just pass out on this hill. Um, I have my older bottle here. I don't want to touch her. There's a newer uh, bottle type there, but I am speaking of Killian's. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess or Killian princess for Killian's princess for short. Yes, this. Um, from the My Kind of Love line is just chef's kiss marshmallow, chef's kiss fragrance in general. Um, this opens up really nice and, and sweet and fresh in, in the opening. Uh, also has that same barbershop type quality that Kaoli's Yum has. Um, and then, you know, it has that green tea matcha in there. Um, and of course, the marshmallow. This does dry down to a gorgeous, comforting marshmallow and it is a strong marshmallow at that uh so i do find it so funny when i first tried this fragrance i passed it off as a pure marshmallow like mm, kind of a one-liner if you will and then it just developed for me so yeah this is this is a lifer right here i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess uh delicious delicious marshmallow uh dry down <laughs> Okay, so next, um, from the same uh, perfumer, we are, or, you know, a creator here, brand, is Killian. Um, he is a perfumer. Hello. Killian. Uh, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, you guys. Here is another fragrance that has that marshmallow in it. 
Um, this has orange blossom though. This has a beautiful jasmine note in it that I feel um, none of the fragrances that try to are inspired by Love by Killian have mastered. Um, I'm not sure where he get where he resources his jasmine from, but to me, at least on my skin and in the air, it is so apparent and it just captivates me right along with that orange blossom. So Love by Killian does have that gorgeous marshmallow tone in it as well. I would say they're both equally sweet. Um, if you want a purer marshmallow scent, I'd go with the with the princess. Uh, but if you want something a tad bit more, um, you know, not perfume, well, maybe perfumey because of the of of the the floral tones that we have in here. And then we also have like an animalic note uh, with the synthetic civet. Yeah. Um, man, is that how you say it? It's that cat. But it's synthetic. OK. Um, yeah. Love by Killian is one of my favorite fragrances with a marshmallow note in it. Now. On this same topic here, there's a couple of other fragrances. Um, when it comes to the note of orange blossom and uh, even neroli, neroli, orange blossom, and, you know, and marshmallow, there are so many fragrances that the minute they smell the orange blossom, oh, that's love, don't be shy. The minute they smell marshmallow, oh, that's love. There's everything gets compared to this right here. <laughs> Um, so I do have two of those fragrances here. I only have a sample of the of this one, the Ori Oriana by Perfumes de Marley. Uh, now on this cart, and I have a little decant here. You can see it right there. Delicious. I mean, so good. This says here, Oriana, a sparkling and refreshing opening of mandarin and bergamot with a joyful heart of orange blossom leading to an airy delight of marshmallow and chantilly cream that are addictive. You guys, I don't find this fragrance to be a fluffy marshmallow. I don't find it to be extremely gourmand smelling. Um, and I also don't find any cream in it. So if you are one that can pick that out or detect that on your skin, beautiful. Uh, that were that was my expectation of this fragrance and that's not what i got but it's not to say that i do not still love this this is a fresh um you know synthetic orange in the opening like a synthetic citrus um very similar to the synthetic citrus that you find in byretto sundays and um you know and then i do get a beautiful orange blossom sweet but to me it stays energetic throughout the whole wear so i don't find this to be something i reach for that i want to be comforted by or you know that it's so edible and fluffy and creamy i don't i find this to be a candied uh you know orange blossom a candied uh, energizing fragrance and i love it i love it this is sweet candy <laughs> yes but but to me it is not a fluffy marshmallow but it does have the marshmallow note in it. And I also do not really get a, a full on love don't be shy from this either. I get a more uh, Byretto Sundays. Okay, so there's that. And now, oh, I haven't spoken about this in so long, but let's talk about my love right here. And that is Memo Sintra. I have an entire Memo Sintra journey very early on in the channel. On the channel uh you know video because this fragrance i'm gonna get her she just captivates me she gets me uh, she does comfort me in a weird way um it is not as okay so let's if you are not familiar with memo Sintra, this does remind me a lot more of love don't be shy than oriana does and this does get compared a lot to love don't be shy However, it is its own thing. The opening neroli note here is so vine twig, you know, very dirty. I love it. This this neroli is it for me. It, I want to say it's what gets me. And then the sweet, sweet. I mean, we're talking toothache immediately. Sweet sensation that I get from this is just over the top. Um, it lasts me all day long i get whiffs of it all day long um i am in absolute love with memo sintra she is my girl when it comes to this scent profile <laughs> i mean goodness 
Um, you know, and I don't find it redundant to have Love Don't Be Shy and my love for that fragrance too, right along with Memo Sintra, because I just feel like this is so different. It is so much more dense and strong to me. It is just like the perfume oil concentration in this fragrance is wild. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, this is one that makes me feel so pretty and sweet and, and, and it has that fluffy marshmallow feel to me. It just really does. Maybe because it's sweeter, um, but yeah. Oh, it is nice. This is this is one another one of my top fragrances. Man, we have a lot of tops when it comes to marshmallow. Ooh, we're almost done here, you guys. There's Memo Sintra. Um, yeah, that has a marshmallow note in it, and you can definitely, at least I can definitely detect it. Um, it has those florals in there as well. A lot. It does share a lot of notes with Love Don't Be Shy. It really does. Um, now I think I'm done with all of that. If you're interested to know, I do have a fragrance that very early on in the journey, you know, was like, try this if you're looking for a marshmallow, you know, and when I was doing research and looking up fragrances. So luckily I never jumped into a full bottle. I decided to start with uh, my royalty scent subscription, ordering a, a travel size. So I do have an 8 ml here of Dolce & Gabbana's Intense, Pour, Pour Femme Intense. And this fragrance was also heavily compared to Love Don't Be Shy. And it was also said to be just this whimsical marshmallow. And I get none of that. I get a little bit. Okay, so this is an example of my expectations were ex just shattered <laughs> this was an epic fail for me in the sense that i got no no fluffy marshmallow i got no sweet sweet you know love don't be shy-esque type smell had i not been expecting that this wouldn't have been a bad fragrance for me at all it wouldn't have been a fail i don't feel i'm gonna spray it just to revisit <laughs> um this is an older fragrance oh yeah it's nice it's got a a definite more perfume tone in it we do have the orange blossom in here we have a tuberose note a tuberose note and marshmallow but we also have some sandalwood so we have you know something that's grounding the fragrance i mean it's nice but it's not it's not what i expected and i want to say that's the main thing uh, that threw me off of this fragrance um now this is the intense version uh, they say that the original is a little lighter. I have, I couldn't find it, but I do have a travel spray of the original as well, not the intense version. Oh man, yeah. I mean, it's nice. It has even like a little, like a clean touch to it as well. Um, you know, that like designer-esque vibe that I like to say smells, uh, you know, like expensive. <laughs> so I mean, but it is not gourmand. It is not fluffy. I cannot detect the marshmallow the way that I do in these other fragrances. Um, and that was my epic fail. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no. So for that reason, I've never full on given it, a, you know, a, a proper shot. <laughs> I've always been just like, oh, okay, there you are. There you are not again, marshmallow. I cannot find you. <laughs> I cannot find marshmallow in this. Um, all right. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much. I think that that was a lot of fun, uh, kind of comparing and contrasting different marshmallow fragrances all in one video. Um, but you guys, my top marshmallow fragrance thus far on this fragrance journey of mine. And please, I, I don't even know what would happen. Um, you know, I like Kais, if you're listening and you ever, you know, quit making your deliciousness. Can you let us know in advance so I can buy a truck full of this? Because <laughs> I need this for life. This is Delicia de Marshmallow and it is my top. It is my number one marshmallow fragrance thus far on my fragrance journey. Ooh, and it's been a lifetime of looking for goodness. And this, this is it. This is it, you guys. If I had to choose one fragrance that is marshmallow, for life this would be it and i am not talking about the i'm gonna cheat again of course because this is what i do when i love something i'm not talking about 
like your Love Don't Be Shy, your Kali Yum, your Memo Sintra, you know, your Princess, your fragrances with other notes in them. I'm talking about my straight up marshmallows. This would be it. This is it. This is all I need, okay? To go with my other fragrances <laughs> that have marshmallow in them. Uh, oh man, that was, that is, now I'm professing my love for Delicia de Marshmallow for you guys here on the channel. That was it, you guys. That was enough. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I would love to know what your favorite marshmallow fragrance is. I just love to know these things. Uh, you know, we're sharing, uh, exploring, and loving up on fragrances together here on this channel, in this closet of mine. Um, and we'll be back. We'll be back to, with a couple of brands, and we'll be back with some chocolate. Yes. Thank you so much for joining. For today, y'all have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe.